is the Lord. This is Charles Adebola's ministries. It's the ministry that has the mandate of the Almighty God to bring you both the message and the power of the Holy Spirit through the Lord Jesus Christ in the area of deliverances, healings, and miracles. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20, it says, Believe in the Lord thy God, and so shall you be established. It says, Believe his prophets, and so shall you prosper. I've been seeking the face of the Lord, praying and fasting for some time, for the coming year, even the year 2018. And there are some specific prophecies God has given me for the year. To start with, the Lord told me that the year 2018 will be the year of strange favor. 2018, the year of strange favor. And let me read this scripture to back it up. Psalm 102 verse 13 says, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the said time is come. In the year 2018, the Almighty God will arise. He will arise on your behalf. God himself will show you mercy. It's going to be the year of your favor. Favor is enjoying unmerited blessing. Favor is enjoying the blessing you did not labor for. You did not work for. Favor implies that you have been preferred among the multitude. The year 2018 is the year you are going to be favored. It's a, the year you will experience unusual favor in your walk with God. It's the year you are going to be favored from men and women. It's the year you are going to be favored in your career. Your career will have unusual break forth. You will break forth to the right. You will break forth to the left. It's the year you are going to have favor in your businesses. The Lord himself will give you supernatural profitable ideas that will make you experience accelerated progresses. Let me give you specific prophecies that God gave me for you for the year 2018. Number one, it's going to be the year you will experience uncommon favor before men and women. People will favor you. People will accept you. People will back you up. Number two, the year 2018 is the year that protocols will be broken for you. The same way that protocol was broken for Queen Esther in the book of Esther, protocol will be broken for you so that you will make progress, so that you will go forward. Number three, this one excites me. The year 2018 is the year you are not going to have debt records of your beloved ones. You are not going to have debt record of your beloved ones. You will not be bereaved. You will not mourn. You will not be sorrowful. Number four, the year 2018 is the year that your prayers will be answered beyond your expectations. The Bible says that in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. It says God is able to do exceeding abundantly more than we can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Watch out for it in 2018. Your prayers will be answered. I mean you. Your prayers will be answered. Not only will your prayers will be answered, it will be far more than your expectations. Number five, the year 2018 is the year that your helpers will remember you. Yes, men and women that will help you, they will remember your name. God himself will make your image, your picture, your phone number, your bank account number, your business company number, and their names to pop up in their mind. Because 2018, helpers of your destiny, they will help you. Then the Lord told me again for 2018, it is the year that men and women you have helped in the past, they will remember you and this time around, they will reward you. 
they will reward you. That is a prophecy. I wanted to say amen to it. Number seven, the Lord told me the year 2018 is the year of your honor and your promotion. In the year 2018, as the Lord liveth, if I be his prophet, you will not be disgraced. You will not be put to shame. There will be no reproach in your life. There will be no stagnancy. Neither will there be retrogression. You will be lifted up and lifted up and lifted up in Jesus' name. Then number eight. It is the year that your enemies will not prevail against you. Rather, your enemies will fall. That makes me to remember Isaiah chapter 54, verse 15 says, Behold, surely they shall gather together, but not by me. And whosoever shall gather together against you in 2018, they shall fall for thy sake. We do say a big amen to that. Then number nine, it is the year 2018 that the evil plots that your enemies have plotted against you, the Lord told me that mysteriously he will turn the events upside down and your enemies will be the one to fall into their evil plots. That is what the Lord said. Then number 10, number 10, God said in 2018, he will reverse the evil situation to favor you. God is the God that reverses. He can reverse evil situations. He can reverse evil events. And he said he will do that in 2018 to favor you. The year is the year of strange favor. Then number 11, the Lord said in 2018, wow, wow, wow. The Holy Spirit is telling me that this particular prophecy is meant for you and it will come to pass. Watch out for it. Let me read it exactly how the Lord dictated it to my ears. He said in 2018, you will be unusually financially blessed. Will you say hallelujah? 2018, you will be unusually financially blessed. You are coming out of that debt. You are coming out of living on credit card. You are coming out of it. God will do something unusual in your life. In your life. In your life. Number 12. Number 12. He says, the year 2018 is the year of strange breakthrough and achievements for you. It's the year you are going to achieve. Is the year you are going to go forward? Is the year you are going to break embargoes? Is the year you are going to break limitations? Is the year you are going to break hindrances? Is the year you are going to make progress? Is the year you are going to succeed? Is the year I will meet you? You will meet me at the top. These are the prophecies God told me. And I know that that scripture, Psalm 102, verse 13, that says, for thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. Watch out for it. 2018 is the year that God has determined and purpose. It's your time, it is your day, it is your week, it is your month, it is your year of strange favor. I want to pray for you. Almighty God, why I waited on you in prayers and fasting. These were the prophecies you gave me for my viewers, for my listeners. Lord, I do ask that your authority, your power will back up these prophecies and bring them into fulfillment in the lives of these viewers, in the lives of these listeners. Thank you for doing them. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Watch out for the next broadcast and I'm sure you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.